Hi, in this video segment we are going to talk about how to remove a lot of common food stains in that you can get in your house. Um, now there's there's kind of two different kinds of food stains. Ones that you can take out with just kind of like a normal spot cleaner uh, like like our carpet upholstery cleaner or uh, you know whatever other product you use, sometimes just water. Um, and then there's stain, there's some, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes food stains that actually take a little bit more aggressive approach and some specialty products to take out. Um, today we're going to demonstrate uh, this. This is actually spaghetti sauce um, that I've spilled on here, and you can see it's, it's been. We've kind of put it on. It's been here for several hours now. We've ground it into the fibers here, really good. And um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll show you how to how to remove something like this. Um, and again, this is one of these things, one of these food stains where it gets dropped on your carpet. And a lot of times, if you get to it immediately with just a good cleaner, you can take it out. But if for some reason it sits there, it got ground into the carpet, it's, it's there for a while, it actually may stay in the carpet where you again have to use a, kind of a, a specialty product, which we'll show you how to use this product for that. Um, but the things you're going to need for this are, first of all, just something to scrape the car uh, scar carpet with. First thing you want to do is you want to get rid of all the, what I call the, the chunks, okay, if there's any, uh, the bulk of the, the product that's in here, if there's, you know, like I said, if it's kind of chunky and stuff, get, get rid of as much as you can. And you can use either just something like, like I said, I'm just using a spoon, you can use a shop vac, you can uh, use a little carpet machine, whatever you want to do. Um, but again, this is just if you don't, if all you've got is just a, you know, something you can grab real quick, then again, you can just do that. I'll go ahead and blot up as much of it as I can with this paper towel. Okay. And that's going to get, again, up all the big stuff. Then... What we'll do is we'll take one of our spot cleaning towels here, and I'm um, just going to again use our our copper and upholstery cleaner. Again, this is exclusive to Protect. It's our no soap, no shampoo form. This don't have to worry about any of the residues or any of the soap film left behind on it. You can just use it, blot it, and go, and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, and it's going to take out you know a pretty good pretty good chunk of this stain. Um, it's going to take out quite a bit of it, but I know from experience that it's probably not going to take it all out because the the tomato juices and the different things in here are actually going to stain this carpet beyond what what uh, what you can usually take out with most cleaners, especially if it has sat for very long. Um, you can see it's coming up. Uh, again, if you can get to a, a spill like this r relatively quickly, most likely using something like this, or again even just water, a lot of times will you can get the you can get it to come out of the carpet. But again, if it's sat in there or ground in like we have it, um, you're probably going to need to take the extra step here. Then we'll show you how to do that. But for again, the first thing you want to do is just try to get as much of it up as you can. Remember, you never want to scrub a carpet really hard. You may want to just put the product on, blot it up. You can agitate a little bit, you know, but again, you don't want to scrub too much. And, you know, you just kind of keep cleaning until no more come up, comes off on the towel. Okay, we're still getting some out. Maybe give it one more treatment here. And uh, from experience, I know that uh, we're not going to get all this to come out. So uh, I'm going to just do this one time, then I'll show you how to use this particular product. But again, uh, you know, it's going to take out the big chunks of it. And then what's left behind, it actually has stained the carpet. And you're going to have to use, again, a specialty product like this. So you can see we've got about all we're going to get out of that, and you can still see there's pretty good, pretty good stain still left there. Okay. So the product we're going to use today to take out the rest of this is what we call our Stain Magic, um, and this is a great tool, uh, product for taking out anything that uh, any anything that's basically not red. If it's red, we have a specific product called our Red Relief. It's a it's a red stain remover. It's on the website. You can check out. But anything that's not red, like this is kind of an orange color, or yellows, or blues, or greens, um, it's, it's this product designed to take out those things. And I'm going to show you how to use it right now. Again, we're going to use what we call the heat transfer method. Uh, we demonstrated this a couple of the times in some of the videos, so you may have seen this part of it already. But uh, basically what you do is you get a mixing bottle, and if you order this product, we send you the mixing bottle with it. Um, you mix basically equal parts of both of these products, part A and part B, into a some type of a little spray bottle, okay? And then all you're going to do is you're just going to apply this to the area of the of the carpet. Again, make sure that you get it on all of the all the carpet fibers that are 
stained. Again, you don't need to saturate it, but you do want to get, you know, pretty good amount on there. But it doesn't have to be soaking wet to do it. And if you have to, you can do a couple of different applications or a couple of different treatments, okay? But uh, then what we'll do is we'll take, again, one of our uh, one of our clean towels, and it's again, it's really wet. Again, that's the key to it, is you want these really wet so that when you put the iron on here, that it doesn't affect the carpet. Uh, what's going to happen is, uh, the when we put the iron on, the heat from the iron is going to turn the water in the towels to steam. That steam is going to go soak down into the carpet, and that's what that heat from the steam is what's going to activate the chemicals and the product in here and actually take out the take out the, uh, the stain of it, okay? So again, it's what we call the heat transfer method. You can put some water in your iron, but you can also just make sure you get a nice uh, damp, uh, really heavily damped cloth. These aren't dripping wet, but they're really close, okay? Once you put that on, then just go ahead and put your iron on top of it, okay? Make sure it's on the rag. And then just let it sit there for about a minute. Um, you can kind of move it around a little bit so that uh, it gets all the uh, all the stain. But again, you want to leave it on there for about a minute and see and as you and see uh, kind of in the process. Now, as this starts to take it out, you'll see the stain actually start to change color. Usually, like this type of a color, an orangish color, we usually go from like oranges to a to a, a kind of like a yellowish color, and then it'll actually start to to fade out. So you'll start to see. Uh, on the rag here in just a minute when I lift it up, the different color phases as this goes through. Okay, but again, leave that on there for about a minute. Let it do its work. Again, the heat is just activating it in the form of steam. Uh, the carpet's completely safe. I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times, so if you're worried about putting a really super hot iron on your carpet, again, as long as your rag is nice and wet, trust me, you'll have nothing to worry about, okay? And just leave it there, you can move it around. You can see it creates quite a bit of steam. Okay. As you can see, it's starting to pull the stain. It's really hot. Up out of the carpet into the rag. You can see it's starting to lighten that up a little bit. Okay. So we'll hit it with one more application here. And again, usually the, the deeper the color of the stain, uh, the harder it is to get out. You may have to do, like I said, several applications on this. So just be patient is the key. You know, not in any hurry. Just go ahead and let that sit on there. And after you do it the first time, maybe then do it like in every 30 second intervals and check it to see. And again, just again, make sure that your rags never dries out. for a minute. The other thing a lot of times with these kinds of stains, um, once they're set in, um, you know, uh, this is a lot of times this is the only way to get them out. So, you know, after you've cleaned it, you know, with this stuff, if it's not coming out, you know, don't don't scrub it any harder. Don't try five other products. Okay, typically, if our you know if our cleaner type stuff or you know the cleaner that you use doesn't take it out, um, you know, don't try to use six or seven other you know general kind of cleaners. Um, if if one doesn't take it out, usually the others aren't going to take it out. Um, and that's a big problem. Is I've had people say, oh, I use this, and I use this, and I use this, and I use this, and and then they get down to where they've used bleach. You know, and that all all that did is just make a big white spot on the carpet. Okay. So again, if your general cleaner doesn't take it out, typically you're probably going to need some type of a specialty product um, to, re to remove that. Okay, that's getting hot, and you can see that's... Okay, that's starting to even lighten up more. Still there a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of our cleaner. Okay. Spray that on. Grab my rag again. And I'm going to blot out... You can see it actually takes out a little bit more now. You 
can see it's just barely there still, so maybe we'll do one more quick application on it. And that should probably do it. You can see it's just lightly, lightly there now. So we'll hit it one more time real quick. This one we'll just do a really light application because it's pretty much gone. If it's if you can see some of the stain way down here, like in the deep in the fibers of it, like down in here, okay, you want to make sure you get the product down in there too, so that um, you know it actually takes that out down there as well. Okay, okay. so we need a new rag again. This one's really wet as well. Put it on there. Hit it one more time with our iron, and that should be good. Again, this is good for, uh, you know, a lot of times I've used this for varnish. Um, I've used this on, on different things like uh, where uh, maybe mustard. We're actually going to demonstrate mustard here in a minute because that's a really tough one to get out. Uh, but again, this product is great for, to have on hand for anything that, you know, your general cleaner stuff won't take out. Here. Steam is hot, don't leave your hand over it. You can see it's still taking out a little bit more. And it's pretty much gone. So I'll hit this one more time with our, our spot cleaner. Blotting it out. Buff it up, and you can see it's still a little bit wet, but you can see that stain is pretty much gone. Okay, so that is uh, again how you take out, you know, specifically spaghetti stains on this. But again, this is a great product you can use for anything dealing with a uh, something that your normal cleaner won't take out. Again, that's not red. If you have any questions about it, you can go to the website, learn more about this called Stain Magic or Magic Stain Remover. And uh, thanks for uh, watching the segment.